this is Kerry from Orange Cat Crochet, just back with my third tutorial on my jellyfish pattern. Um, in this tutorial, we're just going to look at doing the face of your little jellyfish. Um, but before we go on to that, what I'm going to show you is just you've finished your scallop and this is how you just want to end your round. So to do this, what I do is I chain one. And then I just cut my yarn, leaving quite a long tail, just so you've got a bit of a tail left. And then we just end that by pulling the yarn straight through and then pulling it tight. And then what you'll do is you'll just weave that end in and then tuck it inside. And that will then hide that and just give it a trim. Um, but also what we want to do is just have a look that if you are doing want to do your pull through on the top now's the best time to do it so what we do is you just take your needle and your little tail end and you just thread your needle so that you've got a piece of a length of yellow on your hook So that is to take me a little while to get my thread on and then what you want to do is round that center round I don't go through the middle because I find it just makes it a bit weaker but what you want to do is just do a little loop go on either side of that center stitch in pull it up a bit so you've got a little loop and then what you can do is in the inside just knot your two sides giving your little loop a pull through and that will then do it as long as you want and that will make your hanging hoop. You can do it through the centre bit of your jellyfish but I always find I like to leave it a bit of a long tail on mine and I find if I use a tail it can sometimes make it come a bit undone so I like to just leave my centre tail alone and make my loop separate to that. So that's how you make it hang. So we're now going to do our face of our little jellyfish. So to do your face, what you want to do is you just want to count down from your rounds. So you'll, you'll need your safety eyes, you'll need your black thread, your safety eyes and your jellyfish head. So if you're making it for a baby, you'll want to just embroider the eyes on, but you just take your black yarn and just do a little bit. So if you look at your pattern, it says to input the eyes between rounds 13 and 14 of the head. So what we want to do is we just want to count down 13 rounds. So that is your first round, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, Seventh, if you see it all goes round, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth. So that's our thirteenth, and that will be our fourteenth. So you want to put it in between these two rows here. So you can choose wherever you want to have it as your centre. I like to make my centre around, so that's in the middle of one mine, but it's entirely up to you where you want to put your eye. So you just insert your first eye in between that. So if you look, your, your rows run that way and your stitches are here. So you just pop it through from the front, between, making sure it's in that round. And then what you want to do is count roughly sti six stitches across. So that's your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So you want to input your second roughly there making sure you get it in the same round as your first one do you see your little eyes are in like so and then when you're happy with the placing of your eyes you just pop the little backs on inside making sure you hear it click a couple of times 
don't push them on too tight. I normally do it about two, because if you do it too tight, it can sometimes give an imprint on the inside. So just make sure it's clicked enough times that they're safe, but that you haven't got the indent of them from the back. So roughly about two pops you want to do. So next, what you want to do is you want to get your black thread, and we're gonna do his little mouth. So just thread your needle with the black yarn. My thread's not paying the ball today. So you leave a long tail on your yarn, and what we're going to do is we're going to go down one row from the eye and one stitch in. So if you look, so I'm going to do my mouth starting roughly about there. So leave a tail on the inside that you can tie off after. And then what you want to do is you want to go back in roughly the same space from the other eye. And this loop makes your little mouth. So you can do it a bit further up if you want or a bit further down. You can make it wider, however you want it to do. But I like mine to be roughly about there. So then what you're gonna do is from the inside, you're just going to bring behind where you want your mouth to go, so just there, you're going to bring your yarn in from the inside, catch it with your needle, and then go through, so you go above your yarn on, and then back in below the yarn with your needle, so it catches the bottom of your little smile. And then you just pull it tight and then you can't see it but it holds in place your little mouth and then what you just do is on the inside turn it inside out just tie it in a knot a double knots better and then trim the ends like so and that is your little jellyfish's mouth if you want you can do it a bit higher so it's in between the eyes or you can do it a bit lower you can make it as big as you want you can make it wider if you want it have a little play around but once you get it up then that's your little jellyfish's face and that's the top part of the head. So in the for the bottom part of the body, which is the next bit, it's working in rounds exactly the same as your top part for the first bit. And when you get to the part where you are on round six, round seven, sorry, join me back and I will go over the next part of it to make the little tentacles. So do your first seven rounds and then join me back and I will show you how to do the next round of the body.